Hey guys, I'm here today to show you how I made these bike stands. I had a few people that watched some of my other videos show some interest in how they were made. So I tried to get down to it and show you how I made these. First of all, you've got one for the front and one for the rear. This goes to the front, this goes to the rear. To start off with, I'll just show you how I use them. First of all, Axle. Got some little grooves cut out and these uprights on that stand. And in the back stand, I've got some nails here that I just used to keep this top board in place. And what I did, this is a one by three, and I took it and just covered it with some material. I think I used some carpet. I found out the carpet wanted to stick to the back of my Velcro that holds this bag on, so I said, well, I need to make something slick, so I put, just put some more tape over it so it's slick. But I take that, and I run it through my rack, like so, and that's what's going to support the weight. Pull this over, lift up the back. And I rest the bike on the uh, lengths of the stand in place and just for added security so things won't slip I uh, put this nail it's just enough to hold it in place same thing over here this nail over here it really holds that large enough so your nail fits in it without uh, binding and so I've got a nail on either one okay now I've got the rear wheel up got the front wheel planted the things lined up and this gives you the option to to maybe tighten up your spokes if you need to or whatever. Of course, you flip it upside down. That may make it a little bit more convenient to some because you don't have to bend down as far when it's upside down. But if you want to just keep it in the upright position, this stand works great for that. Plus, you can adjust your brakes or anything else while it's on here. And same thing at your rear. You've uh, got flexibility of, uh, you know, doing whatever work you want to on it. Also, it gives you a good, good way of making sure that you your derailleur is lined up and that your gears change like they should because it gives you that freedom of changing your gears. Just checking your derailleur out, make sure it's lined up well and everything works properly. This may be a little bit better as far as adjusting the radio because it's uh, got the chain and the the normal position that's going to be while you're riding the bike. So maybe a little bit better to adjust your derailleur in this upright position as opposed to being upside down. Not to say you can't do it both ways. But anyway, that's basically what I use it for. I notched out these up to uprights so that the axle will rest in them. You know, it's pretty much just the weight of the bike that holds it in place once you get that. I did take the top of this and I applied plastic liquid on the top of this it's a rubberized material and it just gives it something to bear on so it won't mess up and then I just painted these things with just some little flat black paint that I had laying around so that's that and when you're taking it off just pull these pins out pick your bike up slide that out put your wheel down pull that out and we'll put it back in place in there in here. And for the front, just lift up the front and bring it off. There we go. So, that's how it works. Now, I made these out of uh, a one by three. Well, these uprights they seem to be strong enough i've got one by gussets right here to brace it off so it gives it some lateral support i also took these and i took wood glue screws and uh tight bond glue to glue everything in place that gives you a good sturdy strong frame that won't come apart at the joints but like i was saying one by three one by three one by three 
This is a one by four down here that I use to go across here. And these are just one by twos at the bottom, 12 inches, splayed the edges, looks, nothing else. The front stand is pretty similar as far as the materials goes. I've got your one by gussets right here to hold it sturdy. I've got your one by threes for the uprights. I've got the one by four for this crossover base here. And I've got your one by twos down here. And basically the same size as far as being 12 inches this way. I've also shown in this video the dimensions on this. These dimensions work. Just want to make sure you've got it wide enough here. Get your front wheel in and place properly so your axles will rest properly. And with the dimensions that I'll give you, it'll work properly. And you want enough room clearance in here so that you, the radios and everything else won't get in the way. I think that's about it. So hope this might help you if you want to get in your workshop and do a little bit, a little bit of word work to give you a little project. So without any further ado, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it informative. If not, entertain. Good day.